Hello YouTube, I'm Zach, you're watching Zach DTV. thanks for stopping in today. And with my show I like to give you something entertaining, some news that's interesting, and maybe something that'll help you through your day. So let's get right into this. I'm going to start with Burger King. Yes, Burger King, that fast food restaurant, well they want your business for Valentine's Day. At least the Burger Kings in Israel do. They are offering an adult meal. You know how they have the kids meal in a little box? Well this is an adult box of meal. Comes with two burgers, two sets of fries, a bunch of beer, and adult play toys. They didn't exactly come out and say what was in the play toys, but according to a Facebook post I read, there's supposed to be a, a feather, a mask, a couple little kinky things like that. Seems like Burger King wants you to come there for your Valentine's Day meal. This promotion is only happening in Israel and it only takes place after 6 p.m. So if you live outside that area, sorry, you can't go get the adult meal. But it does look like by including beer, they're really trying to get their customers laid. And I think that's great. Congrats to you, Burger King. My next story I want to talk about is Oklahoma Representative Justin Murphy. He is pushing a bill that would require a woman to get written consent from their baby's father before having an abortion. He has stated that, I believe one one of the breakdowns in our society is that we have excluded the man out of all types of decisions concerning this matter. Now, this type of thinking has been shut down before several times by the Supreme Court and whatnot. This probably will not pass. But he says that he feels that women are hosts, and if they don't want to get pregnant, they should take steps to prevent it. By being with a man and not taking the appropriate measures and then getting pregnant because of their intercourse, you are giving him rights as well. This is a tough one for me to give an opinion on because I do feel both ways about it. As a father, my youngest son, uh, his mother and I had a discussion about what we were going to do when we found out we were pregnant with him. We decided that we were going to move forward and have our baby, which was one of the best decisions of my life. I love the kid. At the same time, if she was the kind of woman who didn't care what I thought, she could have gone and got the pregnancy terminated of her own free will, and that would have been depriving me of my child. I don't know where to stand on this because I also feel that a woman's body is a woman's body. She has the right to make the decision. Could there be something that would allow... I don't know. This is a hard one to weigh in on because of my own personal feelings on it. Let me know what you guys think. Let's have a conversation about this. For my next story, I want to talk about the world's biggest YouTuber. Guy has over 50 million subscribers and he just got dropped by his network. We're talking about PewDiePie and we're talking about Disney's Maker Studios who picked up PewDiePie, put him in their group, and has been and given him basically free reign to do what he wants. They dropped him, and also YouTube's premium advertising platform has dropped him. They have also canceled his second season of Scare PewDiePie, which is a YouTube red television show. He is getting beat down. This all stems from a video he released early January of him paying some guys on Fiverr to dance around with a handwritten banner that stated, Death to all Jews. In his defense, as he was watching the video, he did seem shocked that they would do this. He said it was a joke, he never thought they would actually go through with it, but they did, and he showed. It. He showed it because it's what happens. I don't fault him for that. I don't fault him for any of it. He was making a video. This is what the content turned out to be. He put out his experience unrefined. He did not promote what happened. And like I said, he thought the message was so offensive, these guys wouldn't have done it. Now, these guys were from South Asia. They state that they didn't even know what the message said. They just wrote down the symbols on a piece of paper and held it up and danced around. Since then, Fiverr's kicked off both PewDiePie and those two guys. From what I hear, PewDiePie was working to get them reinstated on Fiverr because it's not their fault for what happened. He's taking responsibility responsibility for this fully and trying to get these guys off the hook which i respect them for but this wasn't the first event that's being cited as the reason for these companies to sever their ties with pewdiepie they say that he has had many anti-semitic statements in his videos he has done a video where he was showing off swastikas drawn by his fans it's also been said that he's watched hitler videos dressed in a brown uniform similar to that the nazis wore it's also said that he's being promoted by extreme right wing and neo-nazi people as someone to watch a lot of his community is right wing. I don't know for sure, but that's what's being said. What do you guys think about this one? It's hard for me to believe a guy with 50 million subscribers would be let go when he's bringing these companies so much money. They must really be scared of the fallout from having this guy as part of their company. Well, comments are open. Let me know. For my final story, I want to talk about the environment a little bit. If you know anything about me, you've seen my show before, you might notice I'm kind of a green kind of guy. Well, this story comes straight from our oceans. They have found banned man-made chemicals in tiny shrimp at depths of over 10,000 meters down. That's over six miles deep. The chemicals found are PCBs, which are found in paint and in tr electrical transformers that you see on your power lines. There are also PBDEs, which are found in flame retardants. According to Alan Jameson, he's the author of this report, the, the pollutants are there in every single sample, regardless of the depth 
and regardless of the species. The shocking part about this are the levels they found are 50 times higher than in crab that are found in one of the dirtiest rivers in China. That's how bad this is. These chemicals are among the most carcinogenic in the world. Now they figure the buildup is due to waste settling at the lowest point, currents bringing it, settling out of the water layers down into these trenches. But to me, the scariest part of this is those small critters are going to get eaten by the bigger ones, which get eaten by the bigger ones, which get eaten by the bigger ones, which get consumed by us. So those high level of carcinogens, as well as the plastics these things consume and everything else that we put in the oceans, are all going to end up on our plate when we eat the fish that we pull out of the sea. We're doing it to ourselves, people. We wonder why we have such high cancer rates. Let me know what you think about this story. What can we do to clean up the oceans? They're huge people for many years, didn't think we could pollute them because they're too big. And now we're finding out, oh, you're wrong, we sure can. Is there any solution for this or do we just have to live with the problem? Let me know what you think. And that is going to wrap up my show. Thanks for watching, as always. I'm Zach. You can subscribe if you like what I do. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Give me a thumbs down if you don't. Let me know why in the comments. And that's going to be all for Tuesday. I'll see you guys tomorrow.